it's it's actually a chain of trust. Uh, a writer who trusts his gut, his idea, and writes the book. The agent who believes so much in the story that he is willing to ready it to represent it, and the author uh, and the publisher who believes again, who trusts in the book, in the story, so as to publish it, and you, the reader. That's that's where the chain ends and continues. This is <laughs> who buys the book and reads it. You have the trust to buy it and to read it. So it's actually a, ch a chain of trust which goes from here to here to here to here and back here because he knows you trust him and he writes another book and that's how it goes ahead. So this is how we can conduct this session I felt and um, another metaphor came to mind. It's uh, the story, the idea becomes the heart. Then, pure heart. <laughs> <laughs> then someone voices it and lays it out in the open. He is the agent, so he is the throat. Then someone strategizes and he's like, "Is this coming in?" <laughs> he is the head. And that, and then there's a marketing team, heart pair and media and that's how the fruition of the body of the book they almost uh, reminded me of the world system sorry <laughs> reminded me of the world system the class system the caste system <laughs> this is the head <laughs> and literary festivals like these are the dance so in the book dances and that's how it so um, my first question then is to a writer as a writer how do you think of an idea? What develops? What things do you cancel off and say, hey, this can't be a story and this should be a story? And what conflict do you choose that it can further become a book or a story? I think this is a creating process. Everyone has different uh, way of conceptualizing an idea. For me, I find story around me people around me. I am much interested in politics. Uh, so I try to find out politics in most of things, in real politics and uh, politics and relationship. I try to see what is really happening. Uh, I work in media, I am also a marketing professional. So the work, my hobby of writing and that everything gave me a different kind of insight. So when I start, I, I consider as the idea of uh, Jeta Stu was my first novel which was based on student politics. And so I had two ideas when I was thinking I would write a book. So first, every new author thinks that I have a story on each other. So that was my first idea. But uh, that was the time in 2016 when the JNU incident happened. And uh, not taking any side, whichever side you are bringing there. But I thought, whatever is happening in the university, through that student politics, whatever you are reading in the newspaper, whichever side, is actually half truth, not even 25%. So there were many things which are happening on the back side. So I did some research, I was part of some politics, I did some research, I uh, visited some universities in Delhi, something was my experience. So I felt, this is something as a writer, I want to tell the society, what as a writer I can give to you. Uh, many writers don't accept another thing take the target audience. As a marketer, when I'm writing, I know who is my audience, who I want this to be. Youngsters are the main target. They are going to go to university and study. Literature is not going to be able to do this. They are the target audience. But for me, I, I was sure. I want these, this audience to understand what politics is. This is how in university everything is happening. So my language is very important. I have a twist in my life because in the young generation, in the mobile and Facebook time, so that was the first book. Even in the second book, uh, I was again thinking about uh, love story. And then Unnao Rape Case happened. Unnao Rape Case happened and I was in shock. Uske baad jo news aapne dekhi, kis ki news hoti, kaise aapne sites liye the. That was the same time in Mewat ke andar, uh, Mewat is a belt in Rajasthan. Thoda sa Rajasthan uh, ka tenet ka part hai. Beef ko lika aapne dekha ho, kisi ko maar diya or sun issues hoti hai. So, I grew up in Rajasthan. I know that area differently, different manner. 
So that was an again part of research. Again, I felt the society around me is misled by news, but uh, in the social media, politicians, media, everyone. I worked with media as a brand manager, I know the business side of media. So that was one part. I traveled in Meva area. I did a lot of secondary research. I traveled it to, around for now. I did many research. I found I have 150 articles written to that uh, one incident. On that basis, I started finding out what really is happening. I want to share if you allow, I just want to share as part of research about Meva area. Uh, that is not part of the book, but that how it helps you to uh, find your characters and storyline. Mewat ne apne suno ko B for us aare show tha Hindu Muslim ka bahut divide hai. Mewat ke jaan toh Muslim hai ki pehle Rajputi ya Gujar mein ye convert ho gaye. Convert hoye lekin unka Islam accept karne ke baad ki unka Hindu tradition bahut saara chalta tha. So Muslim ne apne suno ko Islam mein ki wo shaadi ho jati hai chacha mama se relation ke andar. Lekin Mewat ka Muslim apne Gotra mein shaadi nahi karta. Muslim nahi kya hai ki Gotra abhi bhi chalte hai. Ye nayi chiz mujhe pata lagi. So they follow a lot of Hindu tradition that 1935 is the time to Tablighi Japan was founded. Their idea was to promote Islam. And with that, the king of Alwad, they had some texts and the king of Alwad had some texts. It's not from my book, but how you find out people, how you find out incidents, how your character is thinking. 1935 is the same time when RSS was formed. Both people were thinking that this is the one that we are going to do with the other people. This is a very interesting subject of the fact that when I started finding out things, then I realized that in this belt, we don't have beef to eat. My own misconception was that they eat, but they don't eat because they are in Hindu tradition. Exceptions can happen. Then there was a fight. In Rajasthan, there is a Kopishi Kanun. And you don't have beef exports from there. There are very strict rules. Meva is a very big belt where it works. And it's both of the people who are doing it. It's all politics. But the people who are doing it, they are doing it in any way. But the second is arms business. It's illegal arms business. In Gujarat, you know that in 2006, चंबल में हैं और यहाँ से सप्लाई में हैं बहुत सारे आम्स तो ये सारी चीजें जब मुझे मिलनी शुरू हुई देना भी आया कि मेरी स्टोरी के अंदर क्या सबको रेप के समय का क्या ये सारी चीजें नहीं नहीं हो सकती हैं तो मेरे कैरेक्टर्स उनका माइंडसेट कैसे चेंज होता है तब रेप के आने के बाद मुस्लिम्स का माइंडसेट � some people are neutral, so how do you change a person's mind, how do you change a person's mind, how do you change a person's mind, how do you change a person's mind. So when I started writing the story, all this research actually helped me. So this is how I try to find out the story around me. I write it and readers write it, it is both knowledge and many things. So he found the story from what was happening around him and he developed it with research and made it more authentic. That's what you said. And as an um, agent or an agency which represents both, what type of stories are you looking for? And we come to genre and uh, fiction versus non-fiction later. But then in stories and non-stories, what is it that appeals to you or what is it that will sell is what you're thinking about? Sure. After that. Sure. Thanks. Thanks for the question. No, see, when, whenever somebody sends a script to me, I read it uh, purely on the basis of merit. And uh, you know, again, if you go into as you mentioned genres and sale or you're further dividing, you know, yourself and narrowing down the selection process, uh, which I do not want to do at that point of time because I have seen someone sending a work of creativity, and if you like it, if the story touches you, so it's very simple for me. I'm, I'm someone who, you know, believes in the vision, and it should if if it strikes well with you, then you should take it forward. So you know, ideally. Uh, the sample chapters gives you an, give you an idea about the writing style and the synopsis gives you an idea about the story. So if you like the story and you like the style, then you know what the entire book is going to be like. So you can make your decision then and there. So it's very important to feel one with it. Because if you don't feel one with it, then you're not do, going to do a good job with it as an agent. Right? So you may say that, okay, this also will come, we'll have some work together. And, but that's not the way you want to do it, right? Because 
at the end of the day, as I always say that a work of a literary agent, especially, uh, you know, works on word of mouth. Right? They are never mentioned on the cover of the book, on the back cover, in the acknowledgements and author mentions. So, wahan koi agar padh leta hai, to bahut acha hai. But ho sakta hai ki koi author jaye kisi lit fest mein baat kare. That's how that's how the work and word of an agency spreads. So, you want to do good work, and you want to do good work with books that you believe in. Right, as I was mentioning in the earlier session, and uh, you know, it's, it's something the Bagger would also know very well that a lot of major publishers in the country these days prefer non-fiction books over fiction because at the end of the day, for them, it boils down to commercial transactions. You know, how well it's selling. Uh, they have their own teams. How has each team done? What is the business that they have brought in? You know, so it, it boils down to all of that. But uh, for me, and I can also probably afford to be in that space, that uh, I, I judge the book purely on the basis of its merit and for the passion of writing. Because I was, I was telling my uh, wife the other day that, you know, uh, so, so I got to know that there are a lot of literary agencies who do not accept uh, fiction books. And I was, I was speaking to her and I said that, look, these stories, these stories are amazing. You know, just amazing stories. How much of creativity a person would have used to create that story? Just like you were telling me. You have researched that four or five things have been made and made a story present. Just because a publisher feels that it's not going to sell should not hamper my vision. Then it becomes my responsibility to find a publisher whose vision and the thought process of the author will match. So that is what you need to do. I'll give you an example. I was I was doing a book right now. Uh, with a gentleman whose father was a legendary sports star. Okay, he was a legendary sports star in the fifties and the sixties. Um, he did a book, and uh, we we sent it out to publishers. One of India's biggest publishing houses got back to me and said that you know we love the book. Our sales team, however, feels that the book is twenty years too late. The present generation doesn't know about it, okay. so we'll not be able to do it. And why there is a point, I, um, you know, obviously agreed to that. But when I was having a chat with the author, I told him that look, then what is the point of writing a book? A book essentially tells a story to a new generation. So if you say that oh it's twenty years too late, the people don't know him, then that is why the book has been written so that you can know about him, right? So at the end of the day, it's all with you know the bigger firms about commercials. That creativity is getting, you know, uh, affected in the process. So for me, the yardstick is a good story. If I believe with it, I will see or swim with it. That is that is my responsibility. So so you know, I think if you have that much conviction, you will form that bond with your author, and you can develop more things. So when you ask that, how do you, how do I know, you know, uh, whether something will work or not? The point is that you can never know whether it will work or not with a particular person. Because if you largely ask all publishing houses what are they looking for in a book, they're essentially looking for three things. They're looking for a good story, which is written well and can sell a lot, right? So essentially, there are three things that have been looked at. So if all publishers are looking for the same thing, then either a book should be accepted by all publishers or it should be rejected by all publishers. But that doesn't happen. Why? Because individual tastes and preferences also come into play. Business plans for a particular publisher may change on a yearly basis. I'm sure the partner will shed more light on it, and and you know it changes. So you may feel that oh, I've written a romance book, and there is an ex publisher who's done a lot of books in the romance category. So they will take it up, and they won't. Why? Because they feel you've done too much of romance. Let's focus on another genre. <laughs> so so those are things that you obviously know when you are in touch, you know. But but the idea is that sometimes you have people who write a script. And you know they have a great bio. What they've written doesn't match with the bio, so we just tell them that look, the book is good. We'll take it up, but you know what? I think you should work on X, Y, Z because that is something you will be able to work on in a very successful manner, which is working well in the present scenario. So I think that is the role of the agency. It's it's also to help and advise and guide at the same. I totally forgot the question after this monologue. Can you repeat the question now? Yeah, so the question is that how is the story important? Just like the story idea and the concept and the conflict is important to the writer, and then next to the 
uh, person who is pitching it and the person who is representing it. <coughs> so what do you look for in a story when you are publishing it? So what do I look for in a story when I am publishing it, right? So um, this gives me most of the answers to that question. But from publishing lens, uh, for us the first parameter is writing and the story. So if these two are good, that is a given for us. They have to be good to be even moving forward in the pipeline. So once they move forward in the pipeline, and I'm being brutally honest, we look at the profile of the author. Is the profile of the author strong enough for somebody to carry forward the story? The story might have yes, the of the, the yes, because what yeah. happens is that sometimes the story Absolutely. is too good for the author. Okay, they may be they will not stand up to it. They will not be able to uh, you know represent it well. Okay, so that's the the story and the person conflict has to be uh, figured out. Third thing is how does the commercial model fit in? Now, uh, publishing is an evolving industry. Okay, it is not a one size fit all. So earlier what used to happen is that kitab achhi hai, ten thousand chaat to, aur dekhte rahenge. Usko market karenge, bechenge. No more. Now, depending on the quality of the book, depending on the power of the author, you could be doing various kind of permutation combinations to the model that will fit best on that particular content author combination. And that is what will take to the market. So, for example, he rightly said that you know commercial considerations don't allow our publishers to take a lot of risk. We cannot. We have to survive. But there are books which are lovely, and which you know, heart of heart, we know that. ये तो करना ही चाहिए ब्रो। So would I go and take a punt on it and print ten thousand copies? No, but I will publish it, probably at a very small scale, keep it out there in the market, do my best to pub uh, market it, and see how it goes. So that way, I am being truthful to the author and saying that look, I brought it to the world. This is what best I could do for you. Now the ball is in your court. See what you can do best. Sometimes it clicks. The second print run is a larger print run. Sometimes the author tries hard and is able to establish over a longer period of time. So then it becomes a different kind of a game. So the question from our perspective is that: Are we making money on it or not? Unfortunately, that's the summary line for it. Okay. However, publishing houses also do book for the fame of it. Okay, something which will give them critical acclaim because we also have to build our brand, right? So. While I may be doing 100 books a year, 90 may be commercial, but 10 will still be something which I, as a publisher, want to. I, as a publisher, want to drive. For example, personally, I'm very fond of Northeast. Okay, so I keep looking at opportunities of publishing books around Northeast. Whether or not they will sell is secondary. I don't bother about it. But I want to build that space. Okay, I'm very, very uh, fond of memoirs, personal memoirs. So I keep looking for memoirs. Okay, if memoirs are good and I'm in uh, uh, making some uh, relevant sense, we go ahead with them, irrespective of the commercial, uh, you know, proposition. Crowded genres like romance is very crowded. Okay, they are the genres where we usually do not take a risk. It's it has to be commercially viable because uh, you know you how do you stand up? Okay, so for example, in the market, okay. Why should somebody read a book? The book, reading a book is far more time commitment than watching a movie. Spending ten, twelve hours, even more sometimes on that book. So what will make my reader invest so much of their time and read when they can? At the same time, in going out with friends, watching a movie, talking to family, do something else. So that has to be answered. Thank you, and I'm sure it was an eye opener for many here. And um, uh, we slowly come to that as to what advice you would all give to modern day writers because they obviously see themselves like you know on this side of the table. I'll say aspiring, aspiring. Right. not modern day. Yeah, aspiring. <coughs> and um, so th that was indeed my next question because you have both touched upon it. And what about the brand of the author? So I would say in that body which I mentioned that those are the shoulders. They can shoulder the uh, due to their fame or due to some other factor where they already have a brand or they are capable of building a brand and you can help them do it by marketing the book because you have also been in marketing. So how important is it uh, or how easy is it for a known person to get published versus an unknown person to get published? And I think my response is very controversial, so I'll go first. 
I think marketing is a sham. It's a complete sham. Okay, books do not sell by marketing, books sell by word of mouth. As simple as that. मुझे किताब पसंद आई मैं किसी और को बोलूंगा तो वो खरीदेगा मैं चाहे कितनी मार्केटिंग कर लूं विजिबिलिटी बढ़ जाएगी बुक नहीं मिलेगी ऐसे बोलता है आपके पास किताब आई है Amazon के थ्रू हां पर पहली पहले सेट ऑफ रीडर्स के पास जब सो इज आल्सो नो 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 सर सर सो सी नाउ हाउ डस दिस हैपन ओके व्हाई इन टुडेस वर्ल्ड एंड एज एंड दिस इज माय बिलीफ के अदर्स हैव वेरी डेफिनेटली बिफोर ओके विजिबिलिटी इज इंपॉर्टेंट ओके Will visibility need to stay? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. So, for example, if today Diddy Nawal writes a book and that is made visible, chances are it will sell. Today, if Diddy Patel writes a book, okay, and it is made visible, first question is, who are they? Kya kitab hai? Kya hai? So, I, as long as I am able to answer those primary questions, visibility will not help. Visibility will make people become curious. He is here. इतनी क्यों दिख रही है पता तो करो मैं बट इट इज नॉट कन्वर्टेड टू अ सेल ओके दैट्स द फर्स्ट पॉइंट सेकंड पॉइंट इज अनलेस यू आर एबल टू आंसर द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन कि व्हाई शुड माय रीडर गो टू अवर्स इन दैट बुक ओके मार्केटिंग विल नॉट हेल्प यू ओके मार्केटिंग विल ओनली हेल्प यू विद योर प्रेजेंट ओके सो इफ योर कंटेंट इज गुड एंड एक्सीलेंट इफ यू आर एबल टू आंसर द क्वेश्चन मार्केटिंग विल एबल टू सपोर्ट यू बट नॉट योर प्राइमरी ड्राइवर ओके दैट्स द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ Second is, I think where others go wrong is they treat they don't treat this as a career. So like you have a career which is a full time job and you invest time in it, you should invest time on your author career as well. So what have you done yourself to make your author career go forward? That is what you should answer on your own to be able to go forward. If your your vision is a kitab likhe ho gaya, take it the box done. That's one approach. Those days, I want to keep writing. That's my passion, and I want to write more. That's another way. So decide your route, figure out what route to take, and then plan accordingly. So my experience as a marketer, I completely agree with him. Uh, as a marketer, I'm not happy. I keep chances are that I'm not going to get a job. Okay, man. That is the job of marketing. Lots of marketing sales are confused about things. So marketing ka job hai visible karana, aware karana. We have done. हो सकता है इनिशियल कुछ सेल्स मार्केटिंग बहुत अच्छी की हो हो जाएगा लेकिन वो बुक आगे वर्ड ऑफ माउथ से जाएगी सो माय एक्सपीरियंस इन द ऑथर ब्रांड व्हिच आर कमिंग अप सो इफ ऑथर इज ऑलरेडी अ ब्रांड वो बिकने के चांस बढ़ते हैं और वो बिकती है तो ऑथर ब्रांड बन जाता है तो नो ऐसे ही चलते हैं कहानी अह बट आई पब्लिश माय फर्स्ट बुक और तो मैंने कभी बचपन में कोई कविता नहीं लिखी कहीं पब्लिश नहीं हुआ मैंने कभी सुना ही नहीं कोई पोएट स्टोरी नहीं फर्स्ट नॉवेल ही है But before that, I was blogging. I created a website. I started writing blogs. But it was tired. Then, also, I started doing viral videos. So, then, I started using websites to call out issues. So, I started writing for India Today, and then, top, and then, some other things. And then, I started doing videos. So, he gave me a visibility. Publishers are always looking for someone who is new. So, already established authors, they also need new faces. So, they are always looking for someone who is new. So, they are always looking for someone who is new. So, they are always looking for someone who is new. So, they are always looking for someone who is new. So, they are always looking for someone who is new. So, they are always looking for someone who is new. So, they are always looking for someone तो जवाब आया नहीं कर तो एक मैटर में जस्ट अबे फिर डेज़ जेल है और उन्होंने जैसे मैंने कहा कि मैं नवीन चौथी तो उन्होंने कहा मैं जानता हूँ जानता हूँ तो मेरा ये पसंद है ज़्यादा ज़रूरी मार्केटिंग पर ऑफ़सोर्ड इंडस्ट्री पर सब स्मॉल इंडस्ट्री पीपल नो इच अदर सब ऐसे क्या जानते होंगे तो कहते उसके बाद बुक का टॉपिक उस टाइम से पॉलिटिक्स के बहुत सारे डिस्कशन चल रही थी देश में पॉलिटिकल बहुत कुछ चल रहा था तो मैंने कहा कि दिस इज सब्जेक्ट सो दिस इज हाउ माय पब्लिशिंग डिसाइडेड राइटिंग स्टाइल इट्स फॉर यंगर ऑडियंस आजकल लोग पढ़ रहे हैं दी के अंदर जो है टीयर 2 टीयर 3 सिटीज से लीडरशिप पढ़नी शुरू हुई है तो पब्लिशर को वो एक पॉइंट दिखता है नाउ कमिंग टू द प्रोफाइल ऑफ ऑथर व्हिच दी स्पोक सो आई एम ऑलरेडी अ मार्केटिंग पर्सन सो आई नो हाउ टू मार्केट अ बुक पब्लिशर का अपना एक चैनल है इंडस्ट्री मॉर्निंग की वजह से मीडिया में लोग मुझे जानते हैं तो मुझे ये पता था कि इस ऑथर के साथ बहुत सी चीजें इजी हो जाएंगी इसका जो है मीडिया रिव्यू इजी हो जाएगा इसका बुक चला जाएगा लेकिन मैं आपको बताऊं कि पहले मीडिया रिव्यूज वगैरह तो खैर बुक आने के एक दो महीने के बाद शुरू होते जाते हैं द बुक वाज रिलीज्ड इन 12 दिसंबर 2018 फर्स्ट नॉवेल जो आया था देन इट जाना इन यूनिवर्सल स्टेट टॉप 10 हिंदी का क्वार्टर का डेटा निकाल रहे थे अक्टूबर नवंबर दिसंबर का डेटा था और विद इन 18 डेज माय बुक वाज इन टॉप 10 और वो आगे कंटिन्यू किया 
कहां से ये जो आर्टिकल्स में लिख रहा था अपना साइट से ये ब्लॉग से मैं लिख रहा था वहां से मेरे पास एक सब्सक्राइबर बेस था ऑलरेडी तीन सौ साठ तीन सौ सब्सक्राइबर थे मेरे उन्होंने बुक सबने खरीदी सबने स्क्रीन शॉट भेजे मेल भेजा के हमने खरीदी है और उसमें से शायद पचास साठ लोगों ने फेसबुक पोस्ट डाला कि पढ़ा भाई मजा आ गया ये तो वेब सीरीज मटेरियल है ऐसा है और उसके बाद सडनली जो है विद इन अ वीक सेल्स में स्पाइक नजर आई बुक जो है प्री बुकिंग में अमेजोन पर रैंकिंग ऊपर नीचे होती रहती है जब प्री बुकिंग हुई तो पहले दिन में टॉप थर्टी में बुक ऊपर नीचे चल रही थी फिर थोड़ा सा डिप हुआ एंड देन इट टॉप टेन सात दिन के बाद जब लोगों ने लिखना शुरू किया तो वो कई बार उसके बाद वो काफी भी बिखरी है अभी भी उसके नजर रैंकिंग में देखेंगे वो ऐसे चल रही है तो ये जो चीजें हैं सारी ऑथर का थोड़ा सा अपना ब्रांड आप क्रिएट तो करना ही पड़ेगा वो हमेशा हेल्प करता है इफ यू आर मार्केटिंग इट वेल और एक सही पब्लिशर मुझे लगता है बड़ा मैटर करता है क्योंकि बुक की रीच ऑनलाइन का टाइम है लेकिन डिफरेंट मार्केट्स लाइक इन हिंदी अपार्ट फ्रॉम ऑनलाइन सिर्फ लोकल सिटीज के अंदर जो फेयर्स होते हैं वो भी बड़ा मैटर करता है तो फॉर मी पटना लखनऊ वहां पे मेरा पब्लिशर जाते हैं आई विजिट देयर एंड मी पीपल आर स्पीक टू देम पास सेल्स होती है तो दोनों चीजें मिक्स चल रही है आपका ब्रांड है आगे पीछे या सो यू नो आई मीन यू हैव टू आल्सो लुक एट इट फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ अ पब्लिशर I mean, I go with the basic aesthetic that and assumption that the book is good. If I am pitching it out, in my mind, it's good, which is why I've taken it in the first place, right? So the book is good. Now, if I've sent ten books, ten good books out to a publisher, and the publisher is receiving other submissions also, so now they have fifteen good books with them, but they can only publish three in that particular month. What is the yardstick going to be? The first yardstick is going to be. The author profile. Out of that author profile, what they do is that they see that okay, these are people, and author profile is somewhere linked to the marketing eventually, as he was mentioning rightly. Yeah. So, so they will probably narrow it down to say seven books from there. Then what will happen is, and a very important role that uh, plays a crucial role is that they'll read your marketing plan. What? Does the author bring to the table? It is the need of the art. Without getting into right or wrong, should they, should they not? It is a ground rule. <coughs> so here you are at a literary festival. It is our responsibility to tell you guys how things really are, rather than should we quote them. So, so the point is that they will read that. Okay, this is what because the market. I tell you the difference. The author bio will give you an assumption of what the author will bring to the table. The marketing plan will bring you closer to the ground reality of what the author will actually do. So then they will choose. Then they will make that selection. So it's again commercial, but that is how the market really is. Now I look at it from a slightly different lens once the book goes out in the market. So I feel marketing is important. Both of them said that sales is dependent. So that is hundred percent correct. But what I feel is that till such time. A person does not get to know about the book in the first place, which is what you had said. In such time, the person does not get to know about it. They cannot exercise their option on it. Once they know about it, they have gone through it. Then they can say it's good or it's bad. So whether I read it or not. But for that, the book needs to be visible. How do you make it visible? You know, an author is doing one book in a year, publishers doing three books, four books in a month. So they can only promote a book for that much time because they have to be impartial to all their titles. So. How does the author do that? So there are various ways in which you do that, so that you make your book relevant. Then you leave it to the readers, you know. So, so that is how it is. I mean, in, even in today's day and age, an actor's job is not limited to just acting in a movie. They also have to tour the country. They have to go to radio stations. They have to go to a Kapil Sharma show. Now, whether going to a Kapil Sharma show actually helps in making the movie a success or not is not dependent on Kapil Sharma, but it it is dependent on what the audience has made out based on the trailer and the movie, story of the movie. But if you do not go. Then people not even get to know about a particular film that's coming in the theater. So it's the same logic. So you know you have to try your best to do whatever you can, whatever is in your control. No publisher will force an author to market their book. But at the end of the day, you've written it. You want people to read it. So you should make some effort. So that's that's how I look at it. So great. This was a big insight, and I'm sure those who want to go ahead with writing their books and pitching them. Uh, so, uh, so then, because uh, for the authors, uh, once they have written a book, it's very important. I think I I I can say this uh, sh- surely that you should have your own writers groups. Take feedback first from your friends. 
Is it good enough? Because sometimes you can't look at it objectively yourself. So once you know that it's readable, it's reading matter for others also, not just for yourself, because it's so close to you, your own story. So that is when you send it to the literary agency. And even for that, you need skill. Because you may have written a 50,000 worded novel, but you may be horrible at writing a synopsis. And you, you don't know which are the three best sample chapters that he like. So I want you to speak to that. Okay, so my personal opinion about uh, you know having beta readers, as they are called, uh, is that, uh, and not beta, but beta readers, uh, Data. So, so, so what I feel is there are two things. So, you know, if somebody says that it's really good and it's nice, um, you know, you will find a lot of people. I think you would have also experienced it. People say that, oh, you know, I've given it to my friends, and they say that it's lovely. Uh, there are two things. Now, we don't want to be critical, but you have to also understand that you know, when relationships are at play, you do not want to hurt an individual. So, you may say that. So it has happened, it happens. You know, I mean, it may be actually good, but the other way is also true. So you should take the worst case scenario into mind. If somebody actually tells you that it is bad or XYZ things are not right with it, my counter to that would be that what is the qualification of that person to point those things out? Because you also need to understand that in a creative field, you will never have a 100% success ratio or a 100% rejection ratio. So there will be people who like Shole, but there will not be 100 people who will like Shole. There will be some people who will say that, no, I don't like it. So the idea is still such that we don't bring it out in the market. You will not get to know how it is. So it's very important. I feel if you believe, if you believe that you've written what you have, send it out. If there is an issue, you know, because because see again, again, uh, as as I said that if somebody has brought out a conflict or pointed out, that is their individual perception, the, which brings me again to the same point that by that logic all publishers should accept or reject a script. They all have a way that they look at. So so I feel that if you believe in your script, you should send it out. You should send it out. There are certain basics that you need to look at. See, there is no harm in taking feedback, but I, the problem is. That I've seen people get demoralized. But the kya karte hai? Wo dust log unko dete hain kitab. Aur sab log apne acha hi nahi unko zada acha bolte hain. Lekin koi ek point bolte hain ki yaar ab ispe theek kaam kar do. Wo sab alag point hote hain. So now, as is human nature, they not see what is nice. But the author will say that I have a book that is riddled with ten problems. You know, and everyone did not see those ten problems. It's only because he's asked ten people that he has those ten problems in his mind now. So it can work out the effect. You send it out, see, it, let it be seen by experts, and then you know you can take it forward. So I just feel that you believe in what you are writing. To be honest, write it well, write it nicely in a proper manner, and then send it out and see. Uh, so you know there are a lot of people who ask me that should I make X Y Z change in a script, and I and I tell them that look, if you are doubtful about it, keep your I would say keep your original vision in mind because if I tell you that chop it off. Probably that bit could have been something that would have worked in your favor with a particular publishing house. So it's better that if Redovinia is taking up a book, let them take it up and then let them suggest that you know this doesn't work for us or this can be trimmed. That means you know with whom you are working and the vision matches and aligns itself. So that's what I feel about it. I think I completely agree with Suhail on this point, but there is one element you must do as an author, which is self energy. When you finish your first draft, keep it aside for at least a month. Don't touch it, don't think about it. Come back to it after a month and repeat this process till you are only making superficial changes to your manuscript. I think more than beta reading, that is what will make your manuscript foolproof. But yes, beta reading is also good if you get the right kind of beta readers. Personally, uh, my first book I have edited seven times, and then I have heard of authors who've edited it eleven and thirteen times. So I mean, it's very difficult to let it go after the fourth. I, I, I as a rule, I say I will not send it until I have my own fourth edit, and then I will send it to anyone else to read it. So he's right because he has a team of editors and of um, 
uh, and you also they have teams who create book covers and all that and they are all working for your story so your story better be the best you can create and See, I just wanted to add uh, in my first novel Sylph Miriam she has been interested in politics and she learned where she needs to learn but she learned where she needs to learn but I took some of her feedback not some of her feedback because I know how she looks at politics and how much she looks at it तो मैंने पहले नहीं किया था सेवन एड्स जो आपने एड्स की बात की फर्स्ट बुक सेवन ड्राफ्ट्स आई रोट सेवन थर्स फाइव डैट सेकंड में बुक के टाइम में नर्वस हो गया जब लगा फर्स्ट बुक तो एडिट हो गई है सेकंड में बंटा बंटर वाला केस नहीं हो जाए तो मैंने उसको चार लोगों को भेजा और मैं बहुत शोर था कि चार डिफरेंट टाइप के को भेजूं क्योंकि एक्सपेरिमेंट किया आपको किसी का जब सहन आपसे कहा कि आप कई बार डिमोलाइज हो जाएंगे तो मैंने ऐसे से लोगों को भेजा कि आपने सब से और इन चार लोगों के चक्कर में 14 बार एडिट हो गई तो Don't go okay. over that. Okay, so we have just three minutes left, and up to the time I've been given, so we do a quick rapid fire. I've been skipping my rapid fire, and we'll at okay. least do something. Okay, so one word that comes to mind: bestseller. Let me talk to you. Reading. Essential. Essential for everyone's survival in the trade. Writing. Better be good. <laughs> Films. Sure. <laughs> Editing. A must. A must. Marketing. Sham. Not like that. What? I thought. I thought he said when you ask marketing, he said Navin Chak. Business or art? Art. The art of business. This is a lot. Thank you. OCF. Fantastic. Great speakers. My home. And great moderators too. <laughs> okay, so one advice, and we we'll wrap up to whoever wants to write. And I think we've all seen it. We've all done it. We've all done it. Just one, maybe one question or two. Two, two questions. So yeah. you can you can say your name, ask the question, and also mention to whom you want to ask it. Two. Comes easy. Take the mic. So my name is Shantanu Mathur, and uh, my question is to you all. Basically, how does a new writer go about finding? Agents, because every writer is like an introvert. They just have to sit in their homes. You're so in your house sitting here. Take his card, send an email to him. Your job is done. So I would like to ask uh, Anu Satyam, Satyam Mishra, uh, two questions. First of all, the language the Hindi writer, if the like in the last five years, I see uh, Limbadash Dubey, I mean Sir, Dilpur Mohan. Is there a growth in Hindi readership? I'm not talking about the particular North Bay, not Hindi Bay. Is there a growth, and how if a writer is comfortable writing in both languages, let's say English and Hindi, how do you decide you know, about the language? You know, you know, without like. So, Dilip uh, Prakash is also a corporate person, comfortable with English. I am also a corporate person, comfortable with, with English. But our heart is not in Hindi, so. The point is that English will be more Hindi, so in my mind, it will be Hindi, it will be Hindi, it will be Hindi, so I think that I have to say that in English, it was that it was a good thing to work with the English. So I have to write it, 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 so I have to write it. So I have to decide that if you think that I have to write it, 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 I have to write it. तो जो नया जो आप देखें देविका ने लोग पर कासत विकास का एक जो पांचों लोगों का स्टैंड बुक्स चल रही हैं अब इन पांचों को देखिए ये पांचों के पांचों दोनों लैंग्वेजेस के साथ कंपटीबल हैं लेकिन इन्होंने क्या किया अपने दिल की बात अपने हिसाब से निकाली और हिंदी में सब कंपटीबल थी इसलिए हम सब ने आज या रहता है तब अभी आप लोग ऑप्शन हिंदी या जर्मन में है तब क्या लिखोगे हिंदी लिखोगे राइट तो डी पॉइंट इस आप इंग्लिश को 
कंसल्ट इसलिए कर रहे हो क्योंकि आपको इंग्लिश आती है बट हिंदी बेटर आती है आपको हाइपोथेटिकली तो जो आपका स्ट्रॉक पॉइंट है उसे यूज करो बाकी मार्केट बाद में देखी जाएगी पहले एक प्रोडक्ट ऐसे तैयार करो ना जो एकदम बढ़िया हो जिसको देखकर सौ लोग भागे भागे आपके पास आए कि यार मुझे ट्रांसलेशन राइट दो इसके मुझे हिंदी चाहिए मुझे गुजराती चाहिए मराठी चाहिए सब चाहिए बट द ओरिजिनल प्रोडक्ट विल ऑलवेज बी द ओरिजिनल सो उसी एक्ट में देखो जो जिसमें तुम स्ट्रांग हो मैंने बोला हिंदी रीडर्स इट इज इट इज यार इट इज ऑलवेज इंक्रीजिंग बट यू कांट एक्सपेक्ट अवेल आई डोंट नो अ हिंदी ऑडियंस एंड ग्रोइंग राइट तो वो डेमोग्राफिक तो इंपैक्ट करता है बट हिंदी ऑडियंस इज ग्रोइंग एज ही राइटली सेड सो आई लाइक टू रैप दिस अप बाय रिमाइंडिंग यू ओके चलिए के टेक फॉर द लास्ट एवरीबॉडी टॉक्स अबाउट द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ अ गुड स्टोरी what is a word count that you are keeping in mind that's one secondly i feel that you should definitely look at edits because at the end of the day you also need to understand that the publisher is also a human being and like any human being if they have to do lesser work on a particular script it becomes easier for them so i think those are the two things that i advise there is nothing bad as such but these are things in your control so you can keep them in mind I will definitely have a few bad things to avoid. First is don't try to make it a thorough English book. Make it a simple English book. Okay, nobody should sit with a dictionary to come and read your book. You don't have to write a, uh, a a sentence which is so beautiful to read that you don't read the whole book just because it doesn't give it away. So, कहानी पे focus not on the language. That's one. Keep it simple and straight. Second, remember to not keep any plot angles open. अगर आपने कुछ कहा है कि थिएटर में इंट्रोड्यूस किया रिमेंबर यू विल आंसर फॉर इट एज अ रीडर द रीडर शुड नॉट कम बैक एंड से उसका क्या हुआ वो तो क्लोज नहीं हुआ कि वो कैरेक्टर का गायब हो गया उससे बात ही नहीं हुई सो दोस आर टू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स व्हिच यू मस्ट की एंड दीस थिंग्स मेक अ बुक वेरी बैड एक मेरा जो रीडिंग है कि यहां सब जानी है तो क्या भी देना है ठीक है यू राइट योर स्टोरी स्टोरी से रीडर को जो टेक अवे लेना है वो लेंगे आप ये मत सोचिए कि रीडर को कुछ नहीं पता है मुझे जब तक हम बताएंगे नहीं वो आपके स्टोरी से टेक अवे उनका निकल जाता है तो बहुत ध्यान नहीं देना है किसी को भी दिस इज अनदर सेशन सॉरी वी हैव अ लास्ट क्वेश्चन वी डिडिंग लास्ट लास्ट क्वेश्चन ओके मेबी कैन टेक इट आउटसाइड वी टेक इट आउटसाइड बट आई हैव टू रैप अप बाय टेलिंग यू दैट यू आर रियली लकी बिकॉज़ यू एट दिस स्टेज हैव मेट पीपल लाइक दीस हु हैव ओपेंड अप ऑल द इनर सीक्रेट्स and believe you me that it's the truth what we're saying and take it seriously write your books and come back